the stats are going out how they are scoring as many points as they're scoring, leading the NBA, uh, number one in the league in scoring. And the reason is because they shoot the ball well, just like McCready did. They have a number of shooters. You get them an open look, they knock them down. And are, there is the feeling he's been a little bit too passive recently. Nice look as McCready finds the clerk. So the Warriors now lead by the score of 15 8. And you see Armstrong gets up with a record of 11 and 12. They've lost three straight their last game Tuesday night in Sacramento they lost to the game oh Tracy McGrady what a run he's had as of late this past Monday night in Los Angeles extremely hard he knows he has to learn to shoot the ball better he spends time at it he Ooh. likes his future oh nice move by McGrady and Grant able to finish but Doc Rivers cannot be pleased about all for the foul you're going strong to the basket. Make sure you finish, and there's a perfect example by McGrady. Began the season on fire, but has not shot well recently. The off from McGrady, Armstrong. Reading Tracy McGrady as they both lob over my head. So what do I do about this problem? And McGrady gets out there, Armstrong, the perfect lead pass. There's the catch and finish by McGrady. EJ in Atlanta, Houston Rockets. Guy catches the ball, makes a layup on that, and you get an assist and two points. Instead, the guy who doesn't catch the basketball, it's a turnover. It counts, and the foul, Eric Dampier came out to the perimeter to contest with Tracy McGrady. A little scary for Dampier. He's facing McGrady saying, I don't really want to run out there. McGrady says, fine, just stand there and let me shoot this. Well, Teron Lou has uh, certainly been playing better, along with Richard Hamilton. Here's McGrady going last. Tracy McGrady looking very active here at the start. Three. Troy Hudson now in the backcourt with Darrell Armstrong. Tracy McGrady is back up front with Don Reed and Pat Garrity. Off balance shot by McGrady in the face of Mill. Their woes, they lead the NBA in turnovers. Nice pass. McGrady, though, squeezes his way through. He was picked up by the double, but it did not stop. Tracy now has 14. And he has to bring Bobby Serra back on. Low post move that time by Fortson. Gets in the lane. He spins in. And McGrady hits the three. Top of the circle. So Tracy McGrady on fire. McGrady around Mills. And goes to the reverse. Tracy McGrady putting on a show. Here in the second quarter. McGrady got past Orlando with a 52-43 lead as we come up on two minutes remaining in the first half. McGrady again. Two minutes remaining. So Tracy with 21 points. Ball in his hand to create a shot opportunity. Tracy McGrady has hit 10 of his last 12. The Magic by 11. But once again, there's tension between you and uh, one of the members of our crew. McGrady, who has now hit 11 of his last 13. Well, if you think I'm sending him flowers, it's got to be Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal. Penny Hardaway. Oh, you got it. Shaquille O'Neal. Excellent. As I said, Shaquille O'Neal. Excellent. Excellent. You are very, very good. Wow. That's... There it is. First half, you guys were able to get a lot of easy baskets, and it all started at the de uh, defensive end. Oh, uh, that's because we was getting a lot of stops. I think the more stops you get, the more opportunities you get at the offensive end. And unfortunately, um, we was making shots. You said earlier today that you needed other guys to step up. You have to be pleased with the production of your bench, 22 points. You know what? The bench came in. They did a fabulous job. They extended the lead. And then when the starters got back in, you know, we just took care of business. That's what we're going to have to do in the second half. Team Matt, good luck in the second half. I'd like to say what's up to my boys in the studio, Ernie, Kenny, and Charles. All right, let's go back to you, Marv. <laughs> All right, thanks. Shot at you. Oh, I have sat with you and discussed, okay? Bad attitudes, that happens. Tracy McGrady. So McGrady now has 28 points. Missed his team again. Tracy McGrady getting the step. So McGrady. Here's Jamison for three. Armstrong has McGrady ahead of the field. Tracy McGrady able to lay it home. Well, that's what happens when you shoot a three and the defensive... I'm saying in the long run, down the road, what do you think he'll be best playing? McGrady has 31 points.
And the Magic extends to a nine-point lead. And I have not seen him go back to it again since that time. Here's McGrady. This is an Orlando team that has not faced the zone very frequently, but uh, on the floor defending against Darrell Armstrong. Sora playing McGrady. Here's Miller from deep. Yes! It's a three for Miller. So Mike Miller, last year's Blazers in Portland on Saturday, then Sunday they wind up this five-game western portion of the six-game road trip as Tracy McGrady is in line, remaining on the four. McGrady off the dribble. McGrady, it will count. It's a goal tag. They had McGrady isolated in the middle of the floor. Jameis didn't know whether to force him left or right. He forces him to... Gives it up. Here's Hughes taking it to the rim. Rejected by Ewing. It's a three-on-one for the Magic. Here's McGrady. Make it 40 for Tracy McGrady. That's his fourth 40-point game of the season. So just when Golden State is within striking distance, you get through two ill-advised three-point shot attempts, then a block shot by Ewing. Suddenly the game opens up to 10. EJ points, 19 of 30 from the field. Tracy going it alone these days. Grant Hill missing. Good effort by the Warriors in coming back, but that will not do it for Dave Collins. It's another Golden State loss, 105-100, the final. The Warriors now have lost. Marvel, Tracy, you guys stopped the skid. What was different for you guys tonight? Well, defensively, I think we did a great job. Uh, we got a lot of their guys in foul trouble, and uh, we executed on offense. And second half, we came out strong like we did in the first half. Tracy, is there still a concern that towards the end of the game, down the stretch, you guys are closing teams out effectively? That's going to determine whether we're going to be a good team or poor team. We always have the league sometimes going in the second half, and then we let teams get confidence and come back on us. we got to find some way to close out games that way. Thanks a lot, Tracy. Marv? Thanks, Cheryl.